this tutorial I want to show you some of the magic of Power Query. I'll be importing from a website a list of countries and their capitals. Clean and transform this list, then send it back to Excel, where I'll be creating in one click a new sheet for each country, 244 sheets, and with a simple function, extract the capital of each country at the top of each sheet. I'm Nabil Murad. In this amazing tutorial, I'll be using Power Query, a pivot table hidden trick, and two simple functions. So let's get started. I browsed the internet for a website that shows countries and their capitals until I found it on Wikipedia. I want to bring this list of countries and capitals into Excel. I want to clean it and transform it and then create in Excel a worksheet for each country and then extract the capital at the top of each worksheet. So I'm going to start by copying this link and I'll paste it into an Excel file. Here is a new blank Excel file. All what I did is that I pasted the link and I'm going to keep it for you as a reference so you can download this exercise file and follow along. I'm in Excel. I'll go to the data tab of the ribbon and on the data tab I click on the down arrow for new query and from here I go down from other sources from web. From web dialog box opens I'll be pasting the link that I copied from the internet and then when I hit OK it will take me to the navigator for Power Query and show me the different lists available on this page. If I check the first one that's not the one I want. Here is the second one not this one either and I go to the last one and sure enough this is the list that I want to bring into Power Query clean and transform it so I click on transform data in older versions you might find the name edit same functionality give it a click and we are in the Power Query editor while I start in Power Query editor by giving a name to my query I'm going to name it capitals that doesn't add a step to the applied steps here I have change type, I don't need this tab, so I'm going to get rid of it. And then I want to clean my list, so I'm going to select this column, the notes, I don't need it. So I right click and say remove. When I look at the city and the country column, for some records I have extra information because some countries have a dual name. I just want to keep the official name, so I want to get rid of anything that comes after the opening bracket. And to do this, I'm going to select the city column and then right click and then say I want to split the column by delimiter and what's my delimiter I'm going to select a custom delimiter from the list and the custom delimiter will be a space and an opening bracket when I hit enter I would have split the column into multiple columns I just want to keep the first one click on the city two and then press shift and click on the other ones and then I'm going to right click and remove columns I'll be doing the same exact thing for the country, so I right click, split column, by delimiter, what's your delimiter, it's a custom delimiter, what's your custom delimiter, a space and then opening bracket, at each occurrence of the delimiter I hit OK, and then I select the two new columns by pressing shift and then right click and remove columns. I almost cleaned up my list. But I want to do a few more things. First of all, I'll be selecting the label and I'll name it Capital. And then I'll change, I rename the other label, I'll rename it Country. And then I want to move the country to the left side. So I right click and go down to the list Move and select Move to Beginning. That's wonderful. I want to sort these columns so the countries are sorted alphabetically. Then on the Home tab, I click on A to Z and I would have sorted all the countries. One final thing, I would like to bring an incremental number for each country. I'll be using that later on in a VLOOKUP function. So I go to the Add column and then select Index column. I want to start counting from 1, so I click from 1. The Index column should move to the very left, so I'm going to right click in the Index, go down to Move and select to Beginning and now it looks like I fixed everything I want to send it back to Excel I go to the home tab and then click on the down arrow for close and load close and load to 
and I'll be dumping it into Excel in an existing worksheet. Let me collapse. I want to bring it here in cell A1. I hit OK and then hit Load, and I would have brought my list from the Internet into Excel. This is my query. It comes back with 244 rows, and the name of this table is Capitals. Let's close the workbook queries and now I want to go to the magical part I want to create a separate sheet for each one of these countries 244 sheets and I'll be using a trick in pivot table to do this I select any single cell and then I go to the insert tab of the ribbon and then click on pivot table alternatively you can use the shortcut alt and V the create pivot table wizard opens and here I want to specify where to create my pivot table I'll be creating it in the existing worksheet I select a destination and then hit OK the only thing I want to do is to drag the country to the filter that's all what I need for creating my pivot table automatically here I have the analyze and the design tab to the very left of the analyze tab I have an options command do not click on options click on the down arrow to the right side of options and from here I'll be selecting show report filter pages the show report filter pages open and look at the magic that will happen when I hit OK 244 sheets will be created on the spot let's hit OK and watch the magic 244 sheets have been created one for each country and that's magical the show report filter pages let's continue the magic I want to get rid of this filter which has been added automatically at the top of each one of the sheets and to do this I need to group the sheets to group the sheets I click on the first one and then press control and click on the right arrow to reveal the last one and then I press shift and click on the last one note that I'm not including the original sheet sheet one I'm just using the 244 sheets that were created by the show report filter pages Anything I do right now, I'm doing it in the 244 sheets simultaneously. I select the two cells. I want to get rid of this filter. So I go to the clear command to the right side of the home tab. I can select clear all. Alternatively, I can use the shortcut Alt EAA. And then I want to create a label in cell A1. So I'll be typing capital. I want to format it. So I hit Control Enter and then I want to bump it up to 14 I want to bold it and I want to change it to dark red and I want to expand the column I'll make it a little bit wider in cell B1 I would like to extract the capital for each one of these countries note that my sheets are still grouped and whatever I do right now in cell B1 I'm doing it in all the group sheets the 244 sheets so what do you want to do I want to extract the capital but I start first by extracting the sheet number counting from left to right the first one is number one the second one is number two and so on and to extract the sheet number I use a sheet function equal sheet and then I hit tab sheet of what select any cell whatever the cell you type it will work I'll be typing a1 and then I close bracket and when I hit enter look at that it's extracting the sheet number I don't want the sheet number I want to extract the capital so remember we added an index column in the list that we imported from Power Query and the purpose of this index column is to use it in a VLOOKUP function so I'm going to put my function in the edit mode F2 and then I'm going to click to the left side of the sheet function and type VLOOKUP and when I hit tab what's your lookup value well my lookup value is whatever number comes from the sheet function I hit comma and then from where would you like to extract a value what's your table array it's the list named capital so I start typing CA it pops up in the intelligence list I hit the tab key and then I hit comma I need to extract the value from column 3 because the leftmost column is the index the middle one is the country and the last one is the capital so I type 3 and we are looking at an exact match exact means false false means zero so I'll be typing zero close the bracket and then hit enter and I would have extracted the capital for the 244 sheets let's improve the appearance I'll bold it I'll bump it up I'll make it blue and then I want to expand a little bit because some of the capitals are a little bit long 
Now I would like to delete sheet 1. If I go and delete sheet 1, my function will return a reference error. So before deleting, I want to copy and paste values. How do I do this? There are so many ways. I'm going to use Control c to copy and then Alt-ESV followed by Enter. I would have pasted the result of the functions. Now I need to stop the dancing ants, so I hit Escape and I'm done. So if I go to Sheet 1 and click, now I want to get rid of this worksheet. I don't need it anymore. So I right click and then hit delete. And I would like to explore the different countries and their capitals. So I press control and go to the very first. So now let's look at some of the countries. Let's say I want to go to this one. So what if I select Argentina? Buenos Aires is the capital. So I move further to the right. Let's select Belgium. Brussels is the capital. What if I move to letter C? And in letter C, here is my beautiful country, Canada. So if I select Canada, the capital is Ottawa. And then if I move further to the right, let's say I want to select another country. I'll be selecting my beautiful home country, Egypt. And the capital is Cairo. And here you go. We were able by using Power Query to import a list of countries and their capitals from a website. We got it into the query editor. We cleaned it and transformed it. We sent it back to Excel. And then by using a hidden trick in pivot table, we were able to create a separate sheet for each one of the countries. And then using the sheet and the VLOOKUP function, we were able to extract the capital for each one of these countries. If you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumb up. And don't forget to hit the big subscribe button to be notified when new tutorials are released. Remember, the best is yet to come. Thank you for watching and see you next time.